Oh, here we go. Place seemed to be empty. It was a much needed break from the fake smiles and nerve wracking courtesy. Hello? Neatly folded clothes. So neatly folded, in fact, it didn't take a genius to see that something was missing. A few t shirts, jacket, pair of shoes, and an empty space for something squarish and bulky, like a mixing box or suitcase. Well, gone, eh? Hmm. What's the cat about? Want to investigate the cat? Show me cat investigation. A grey, scruffy, long haired cat was perched atop the cabinet, perfectly motionless. Let's examine it before we can pet it, obviously. It doesn't react to movement. You're still breathing, though. I just need to find out how. Hmm. Looks like some twisted kind of taxidermy. Probably one of those pet bions. Kara used to make them. Maybe it needs some juice. Kara. I should take a closer look at this thing. I picked the cat up to examine it more closely. Damn, you're a chunky boy. Or girl. Let's find out. Its fur is thick, but matted from neglect. Huh. No reproductive organs. So, dignity retained. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, certain sense. The creature remained more or less fixed in the same pose while I turned it over in my hands. The real surprise was hiding under its tail. Oh, skill check successful. Well, what do you know? A 635 port. And in such a creative location. Am I supposed to know what a 635 port is? I've got to turn this thing on. Alright, find a charger for the cat in Puck's apartment. Alright. Oh. Okay, okay, this is better, maybe? Hold on. So I go in here. Oh, ah. Camera's been a bit weird here. Um, come on. Bring me in. There, toilet time. Okay. Maybe if I just keep walking this way? We can't go forward into the foreground. My clicks seem to be being blocked by said foreground. Um, there. There. There we go. Okay, open up. No toothpaste, no toothbrush. Other than that, everything seems normal. Oh, successful skill check. Wait a minute. A finger-sized purple cylinder shone through some old, old cleaning supplies. Premium materials, gleaming purple color, no seams, no movable parts. Looks like uh, lipstick. A very expensive one that definitely doesn't belong in a bucket, or in the pit for that matter. Let's start by smelling it. Flowery scent, oddly familiar. Of course it's familiar. What do you mean by that? Jasmine? Again? Open it. Let's see what's inside this thing. Twisting, pulling, squeezing, nothing worked. This was one tough little cookie. Here you're coming with me. I got the jasmine scented lipstick. Interesting. Could be useful. Alright, anything else clickable around here? Okay, I see one more circle. But don't know where what that's referring to or if I can click it. Like it seems like over there, but I don't know how I can get over there. Cat? Wardrobe. 
Anything? And I feel like there should be more here, but maybe it's just lipstick and now we leave? Maybe we could talk to Mila about our findings? The lipstick could be useful. Oh, what if Granny will recognize it, maybe? You look like you could use another drink. Hey, you know where the charger is? I found a weird cat at Puck's place. It needs a charge. You know anything about that? Soul damn it, Puck. He didn't plug him in. Him? You'll find out soon enough. Get a pet buy on 6.35 charger at Trafica. Don't go to Butcher. He'll rip you off. Thanks for the advice. Leaving already, handsome? Afraid so. What, am I suddenly one of your target group? Nah. It's just nice talking with someone... hardened for a change. Feelings mutual. Later, Mila. Okay, uh... So to get it from Traffica. Get a nice charger, and then hopefully the cat will be of yeah, use. Yeah. I heard, uh, you could get a charger here. Hey, I'm looking for a pet Bion 635 charger. Got any? Yeah, that'll be 50 creds, man. That's reasonable. Maybe later. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna buy the I'll charger. Take the charger. You're welcome, Redden. Uh, I can ask him about Puck while I'm here. You heard of a guy called Puck? Supposed to live nearby. Never hear about that guy. Me bad with names, anyways. I don't. Thanks, anyway. Yeah, man. Right, back to the apartment we go. And then hopefully plugging the cat in will do something. Let's see if this one does the trick. It's the right socket. So. Now we wait. The circuits were dormant for a while, no visible changes. Then the pupils dilated and the cat relaxed its stiff pose. Puck's dad, what? What? Who the fuck are you? Why are you in my apartment, Jabim? Lil T. Stiv. Post. Jim? Gonna stay still for a moment. I get you next time. Calm down, soul damn of a PI. I'm looking for Puck. He's in trouble. Might be. There's a chance we could help him if you'd start cooperating. Fine, plug me back in. I get my grana if my battery's low. Okay, one sec. Who or what are you? I'm Puck's dad, Kriv. I'm trapped in this Bion. Not liking much, but okay for now. What? That sounds like a hellish existence, but, uh, well, good luck with that. What do you want to know? Um, let's talk about the, what do I want to know? I'll pet the cat. Well, that's weird. Comforting, but... Weird. Ah, oh, Kurats, my fur went to shit. Mm. It's still a good model. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You like cats now? All right. Um, let's talk about the last night. Griff, I need your take on whatever happened here last night. Kurats, brate, I don't know shit. Puck, forget, charge me. Mm. I tell him, Puck, go buy another charger. He don't listen, debil. Battery always run out at night. Wouldn't you sleep during the night anyway? You sleep all day when you're a cat. <laughs> Unless some kurat sniffs around your crib. What do you mean by this? Okay. Um, inside about the bull sex? Can you tell me anything about the impaled bull sex down at Tresh? What? No, no. They don't talk. In my experience, dead men rarely do. Why impale cops if they dead? Shitty job. 
Young people, idiots, don't know to keep alive. So I've heard. You start from us, da? <laughs> Move around guts. Don't hit liver. Avoid heart. One fucked lung, fine. Then stuff rugs to... I didn't really need like a step-by-step. -step. Ah, please don't finish that sentence. Come on, Coops. You can't interrupt the freaking master class like this. So there's no one who could pull that off now? Two, three cops, no. Maybe Victis Bojcics, they very big. Preacher Kurats, maybe, but not without helps. Okay, that was... Hmm. Informative. Um... Let's look around, has anything changed? Look around. Has anything changed? No. No, wait. Yes. Yebemliga. Some stuff missing. Shoes. Like, pack packed and left. Curious. Wait, where are you going? Lena left brush. Okay. Who's Lena? Family? Da, moja cher, daughter. She left. Yes, sir. He was a cranky bastard. I decided to change the subject. Fast. I guess I can get to know Puck better. Anything you can tell me about your son? Good kid, good kid. No gang shit. Always clean. Not like his Kurat's dead. But friends are govna. Bad. They use him. He change. Angry. Nervous. We bring my Puck back. I help. We will. I hate making false promises, but sometimes there's no choice. Listen, detective. I may be pet bion now, but it has special set of skills, da? Skills that make cats like these dangerous. Like what? You better take this seriously. If you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. Yeah, good luck with that. Right, right. J just calm down, Kriv. Okay, later, Kriv. Hey, hello. Ilmoz, er, can you give some food, Molimte, before you leave? It's on the wardrobe. Sure. Least I could do. Yeah. Damn, y you must be starving. Hvala lepo, drug. Thanks. Okay, before I leave, like, this circle here is bothering me. Does, does it actually exist? Can I do anything with it? No? Okay. Alright, uh, I feel like that whole sequence didn't help me as much as I thought it would. Hey, is that, is that my, uh, my landlord guy? No, I, I don't want to leave. Leave. Buzz, yeah, Buzz. Buzz, my man! an issue, uh, selecting him. Oh, well, I guess not today. Uh, where do we want to go? Because I still need to get I still need to get a License. Sort of thing. Hmm. I tell you what, I'm not sure if it'll be immediately relevant, but let's go to... Tresh Corner. And I'm curious if Granny might recognize the slipstick. Ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Well, tread careful on the subject of Rose. Sorry for prying, but does Rose still come to visit every morning? Oh, not always, sir. But she tries her best. Something ignited in the old woman's eyes. Sometimes she's busy or tired, but she usually comes. She was just here this morning, right before all that ruckus started. She was so scared. She left half her breakfast uneaten. Mm hmm.
interesting. I can only imagine. I kept her food in case she's hungry when she comes back. Thank you for sharing with me. You're welcome, young man. A description of Raz would be useful. I'll look around for your daughter, but I need you to describe her first. Ah, of course, sir. I could talk about my Belle for days. Young, but kind and pure. Big green eyes. She was describing happiness. Her happiness. Hold on, big green eyes. And a stylish purple dress. Fits her like a glove. Young Kaid, big green eyes, purple clothes. That's whew, definitely more than I need. Thanks. How do you just cross, re cross reference that? <sighs> hmm. It's, it reminds me of, the, of Lucy's description. All right, Lucy has the big green eyes too. Don't rush off, sweetie. She'll be back soon. I know it. Stay safe, ma'am. Don't you worry about me, young man. Of course. Hey, uh, Jim. Ah, uh, my favorite speedy pit munchie. Yeah. You served the... Well, I guess you wouldn't have. It would have been Mila, but... Do you got anything at Puck? Jim, any chance you know someone named Puck? Yeah, fuck that guy. I am bad with names, but I know that one. Suckle around here like a fly. Mila wants to drop her cougar ass on his face, but that little bastard gonna weasel his way out of it. Those are some strong feelings, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to know? First off, do you know where to find him? Nah, go bother Mila. She must already have his blood type by now. Got it. Okay, See well, that you, wasn't chef. really useful. Hmm. Seems to be at a bit of an impasse here. Turned intoxicated. Ask the chinky goons where to find Mila. We did already do that. And we already found her anyway. Ask out Puck, we already did that. Ah. Uh, Okay. Let's head out of here again. Hmm. We go back to the flat? Well, no, we should go to the Scray. Scray would be a good place to find out stuff about people. A lot of gossip there, in theory. Yo, Maltz. And a new leads. Um. Let me start by telling you a story about Kriv, the cats. Let's talk to Kriv. She don't say. Old bastard is still alive. Alive and purring. His genius son put him in a pet bion as a temporary solution. I hadn't heard Malt laugh like that for a long time. <laughs> Please tell me he is something adorable. Alive and purry. His genius son put him the in the fluffiest guy you could imagine. Sweet song. I shouldn't laugh, but <laughs> nice work, John. You made my day. He knew the man, that's for sure. And the wider context must have been comedy gold for him. I assume you know Puck, then. A young guy named uh, Puck. Ring any bells? He smirked. Of course he knew him, right off the bat. Hmm. Don't know much about Puck. But I knew his dad, Chris. It's a sad story. Go on. Crib was an old gangster who went clean, only to end up confined to bed. 
freak construction accident that calls never brought it to light. Really? Along came poverty, leaving him on the edge of starvation. And his daughter disappeared, leaving only young pup to take care of him. Poor girl broke down under pressure and split, probably. Hmm. It rains, it pours. If Kriv is still alive, he'll be in their apartment. As far as I know, it's somewhere in the flats near the, the coffee inn. Mm -hmm. Actually, I already talked to Kriv. Yeah. She don't say. Old bastard is still alive. Alive and perk. I yeah. hadn't heard more. <laughs> alive. Sweet song. He knew the man that. Okay. Um. I found a, a car, a vehicle. Know how to get one of those uh, started? You like old timers, Malt? I mean, rides. I'm a walking cliche, son. You already know that. I saw a really old cab outside Inferno. A Vexter Nix Eclipse 3023. Do you know the owner, maybe? I figured that rust bucket would still lay there. It's easier moving a mountain. Who wouldn't believe it? Along the pup's dad, Chris. Really? Now that's interesting. It was right under my friggin' nose. I didn't know Crib was a cabbie. For a short while, nobody hails manual cars for a ride these days. Thanks, Mola. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go talk to Crib. Look, John. Okay, this is a good lead. Probably. Maybe if we can get into the car, that'll help. Uh, back to the flats. Hey, uh, Kriv, my man. Doc. Um. I guess we'll talk about the car. Is that your ride gathering dust outside Inferno? Don't mention that governor to me. Almost ruined my life. I heard. Is it for sale? I can uh, take it off your, well, paws. If you still have the multi-key? No. Gave multi-key to Puck to pawn it. Hold some debt. I see. Warn him, Puck. Boy, that Slina Kurcheva will pay someone to break your kneecaps. That who? Buzz, that Kurats across the apartment. This day definitely can't get any worse. You not the one stuck in Ket. Wanna trade places? I wouldn't mind, honestly. Your body short and skinny, but okay, still better than Ket, ya biga. I mean, yeah, probably. You'd be surprised. And a mean right hook back in the day. Still serves me well, mostly. I believe. Well, I see. Okay. Get the key to Kriv's car from Buzz. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Strong detective. Hey, Buzz! My man, my buddy! Why can't I talk to you? A piece of shit uh, office in a piece of shit neighborhood. Nothing strange about that. The owner's familiar face, however. Now that was a surprise. Don't be shy, Johnny boy. Come on in. I'm not shy, Buzz. I'm just not fond of unsanitary surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> Always a fucking charm, ain't ya? Still shooting blanks, eh? Okay. You just broke your personal best in testing my patience. You deserve it, Coops. You deserve all the roast. <laughs> Come on! I'm just having a laugh. I knew you wouldn't blast your old pal, Buzz. You're not pals. Thanks to your upper skag, I'm fucking minted now! See this lovely bag of credit packs? Well... All's well that ends well. Yeah. I'm glad to see we got our hands on that upper honeypot. Ah, uh, we should nick everything we can from those fuckers. Anyway... How can old Buzz be of service, Johnny boy? First of all, Lucy. Have you seen an upper girl around here? This is her photo. Mmm, nice. Can't say I've had the pleasure. 
damn it, Buzz, she's only a kid. Technically an adult. Mm, they grow up so fast nowadays. Anything I should know about these techies? It's some weird communal cult or whatever. I only caught a glimpse of their joint. Million fucking wise screens, fans. The power bill would give you the sweats. Oh yeah, for sure. But they pay on time. Unlike some other blogs I know. That sounds infuriating. <laughs> Funny man. Okay, um... He's the kind of spot guy who would harbor a spot for the queen. Huh? Any opinion about the so-called queen of the underworld? That chanky bird, Xena. Bless her soul. Ah, finally someone with actual balls is sorting out this fucking shithole so decent folks like me can make a proper living. Damn, are you her PR rep or something? Nah, she'd blast me before I even opened my gob. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'd like the keys to Kriv's car, please. You didn't tell me Puck pawned his dad's car with you. You never asked, mate. I mean, that, that, that's fair. Not a car, a multi-key, which is far more valuable. I even postponed his deadline for a good long while. I want to buy that key back, plus his outstanding debt. Ah, good for you, Johnny boy, giving back to the community. Can't help but wonder why, though. I'm into antique automobiles. I have my reasons. A passion for manual transmissions is one of them. Huh, okay. Molly, give me the numbers for Puck, quarterly interest included, and be quick about it. Exactly 789 credits. Uh, no problem, no problem. 800 it is, then. Why? Okay, sure. Frickin' vulture. That's the admin tax for you. That's always miscellaneous fees, isn't there? You're not part of the administration, asshole. I'll take that key now. Thanks. Help, I got the key. Do you even know how to drive a stick? Of course I do. We're about to find out. Later, Buzz. What do you mean by we? Fair point. Later, Buzz. Okay. Well, let's take this uh, vehicle out for a joyride then, eh? Hello, hello. Nix was still there. Gorgeous as ever. Waiting patiently. Open her up. Leather seats, chain for a steering wheel, fuzzy dice and so many stains, they look like art. All the badass cliches were right there. That car was a symphony, and I was the crescendo. Oh man, I must be dreaming. I'm in a freaking dream. Then wake up and hit it, Coops. This is the hour. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's wreck this soul damn masterpiece. I'd, I'd, I'd rather keep it in decent enough condition, if plausible. All right, uh, here we go. Wait. Did I just... what? What did I just do? What stood before me looked like a sentient neon sign with an amazing pair of legs. Dressed from head to toe in a scintillating, migraine-inducing outfit. Did I just crash into Inferno? She was young, but she was clearly the ball buster in the room. Ow! Is that how Inferno treats its guests these days? Guests use the front entrance. Otherwise, they don't go on breathing for very long. Yeah, understood. The fact you still are makes this the luckiest day of your life. And you better fucking believe it. I wish I could smile at all this good luck, but there's a ton of metal on my face. Gresh? Ugh. That's the only break you're getting, asshole. Now let's reveal the name behind that ugly face, shall we? Private Investigator John Cooper. Private Investigator John Cooper. A lunatic P.I. Great. Just what I need right now. Hey, if you, if you do, you can secure my services for a, a low fee. Very affordable. I could tell she was getting tired of showing off her power. Plainly, 
I wasn't the only one in the room meant to witness it. What are you doing in my fucking club? Um, get to the point. I shouldn't show all my cards, better ask for Puck. I guess I'll get to the point. I'm looking for a missing upper girl named Lucy. Everything I've seen and heard leads straight here. Sounds like she's important. My client and the bull sex are itching to make a mess down here. None of us needs that shit right now. So can we at least try to cooperate? Yeah. Huh? Look at that tick above her left eye. She's nervous. Be careful. Noted, Carmen. I'll know. In two seconds. If you're bullshitting me. How? Well, well, I found your girl. She left at 25 past reset. With some other kids. So she did make it out of Inferno, then. Interesting. She never made it back to Metro. I can back that up, too. Listen to this guy. Do you have any proof? That's what I thought. <sighs> Guess what I just remembered. I don't care. What? They know where they're going. And they know what this place offers. They're in it for the fucking thrills. Risks. Whatever makes them feel alive. Whatever they need to escape those cookie-cutter pods where they sit around waiting for death at their precious fucking towers. They want danger. And I give it to them with fucking pleasure. We're talking about a kid here, not some CEO sadist scumbag. No, we're talking Greska. We're done talking Greska. Ow. You are one barking dog, detective. Can we take him off to the golf course? We love golf, boss. She went quiet for a bit, weighing her options. I kind of want to see it now, Copes. It definitely isn't an actual golf course, so let's get this over with her. Better keep quiet. Uh, I for sure it's not a golf course, right? right? And that's a euphemism for, uh... Pray you never find out, asshole. Right now, you still interest me. But that could change at any time. A middle-aged guy without a single augmentation. Damn, life on the streets must be a nightmare for you. I prefer it that way. Gresh, pick him up, will you? Ugh. It was like being hoisted into the air by a crane. We definitely can't let you wave that cannon of yours around inside. What? No, you can't take my gun from me. On it, boss. <laughs> Ugh, you better give that back, you bolt-brained roid monkey. You'll get your damn toy back. We're just making sure it stays quiet. Oh. Ugh. Not gonna lie, Coops, that was kinda on my bucket list. Alright, party's over. Take our guest to the back. Make him feel at home. What do you mean by that? Are you sure you don't want him to play golf, boss? What? No, not yet. Just put him in a cell. We'll see what's what after I finish this little meeting here. Ugh. Well? Well, we gave it our best. Yeah. Playing a good cop without a bad cop never works. How you doing, Carmen? Holding up? All we can do is wait. Maybe the Queen will cut the charade and calm down without her dumb audience present. That would be nice. Uh, what sort of junk we got here? The room was filled with an assortment of seemingly useless junk. Keyword being seemingly. Let's see if we can uh, make a key. I recalled the good old video games of my youth where the player would pick up and combine some completely random items to solve the problem at hand. With that in mind, I searched for something I could use to break down the door. Coops, 
You can't even begin to comprehend how funny what you just said actually is. Please continue your <clears throat> detective work. What the hell was I thinking? In real life, however, you can't just improvise like that. But I'm not a MacGyver. <sighs> I miss the days when I actually had time to play those golden oldies. Okay, um, there's a bed. I guess I can wait it out. I've slept like a baby on mattresses that were borderline torture devices. But this hideous thing, I'll match them all. Not if I have anything to say about it. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay, what about the door? Let's check it out at least. A thick, reinforced metal door, barred from the other side. It's unlikely we're escaping that way. Can you yell for help? I opened my mouth, about to call for help, but couldn't make a sound. I was dead tired. Adrenaline gave me some crazy ideas. <laughs> there was no way I could break this one down. Okay, fine. I'll go no to sleep. Out. Go have a rest. I've slept like a baby on mattress. Here we go. I was stuck in a cell with no way out. <laughs> All I could do was wait for my destiny to unfold. It wasn't exactly an obscure enigma to boggle the mind with. Just a missing girl, simple as that. But all the odd hunches and twisting eyelids got cramps, red flags, something. Luckily, I wasn't alone. At least my decrepit me remains a mind of a mind piles. There, there, there's something we're not seeing, John. Someone's interest, angle, agenda. There's always an agenda. The journalist knew that too well. Especially when working on what may have been the case of the century. But each step forward felt heavier and heavier. Time withered. The silence screamed louder than any siren. Darkness gnawed at my eyes, harder than Terra Hive's unrelenting neon blaze ever had. Then the curtains rose once more, ringing, so high-pitched, it almost split my skull. I could tell since I'd tried to do the same with some of my reckless habits. Hmm. The last face I expected to see was that of a scared kid who thought he could play the charming hustler game in the friggin' pit of all places. Puck, I presume. We have a, uh, a huge problem. You don't say. What the heck just happened? Huh. I mean, that's the only save I have. And is this one of those things where I need to like press new game or something? It was just a typical forsaken night. Nope. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess that's as far as we're making it. Uh, this is, of course, uh, pre-release, so I assume whatever that was is going to be ironed out in the full well, once the game's actually launched. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess <laughs> that's this stream then. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I don't know, really know what happened. We might play this game again at some point. Who knows? Uh, certainly enjoyable so far. Barring the kicking your ass out to the main menu there. But anyways, guys, until next time, I've been Supercraft, and I'll catch you in the next video, whether, uh, or, or stream, whether this or something else. Uh, goodbye.